Hello, Collective. It's G here from Golden Thread Terror, and I'm here to bring you another channeled message. I hope this message finds you blessed. I'm full of abundance as always, so let's go ahead and jump into this message. So, I was getting someone here could be being protected, okay? Um, with me opening up this message, and then my dog starting to bark immediately in the background. So, someone here could really have like a. Um, yeah, like an animal protector spirit. I'm also getting that here with a strength card. I'm also getting like, like this is spirit here, like hugging you and you're like this lion here. Okay. Like this lion, like the strength energy. Something is coming forward. So definitely I was getting, something has come um, completely to an end. I was getting the death card. I was getting the four of swords. I was getting the star card, the tower card. Um, like, I'm, he I'm hearing you've done it, you've learned the lesson, or you've, you've done it, like you've, you've passed something, you've done something. Okay. You say so you've manifested your justice. Okay. Spirit has said that you have successfully manifested your justice because someone, someone here didn't learn their lesson. Someone here didn't learn their lesson, or in the past, there it is. In the past, you weren't, you were repeating this lesson, you weren't really learning it, you weren't really, um, you weren't really, like, seeing the truth of the situation, Spirit is saying. You weren't really seeing the truth of the situation. But now you have been, like, delivered from that, like, your justice has come in here. Yeah. A brand new cycle is starting here for you. I'm also hearing hopping timeline, so there's definitely a big timeline shift here. Yeah, it's a victory. Oh, wow. Absolutely. So in the past, you were definitely put in this position to stop so that you could see things from a different perspective, right? You were put in this position to push yourself to your limits or to push yourself... Yeah. It's like spirit had to push you or put you in a position so that you would see, so you see the truth or that so, you, so that you could see so that you could gather information from a certain perspective. Like, so spirit had to put you through something so that you knew what it was like to go through it. So that you, it's like, I had to put you all the way to the edge, right? Because the energy of the hangman is the person that goes up and hangs themselves up to the tree and takes themselves all the way to death's door, right, to gain a new perspective, right? So that's what that enlightenment energy right there is, right? That's a person, like, looking looking on the other side of the veil or, you know. So Spirit saying something similar to that, right? You have manifested your justice because you have successfully put yourself in this position where you have opened yourself up, where you are receiving messages or where you have... Put yourself in a position to really see the truth and really chase after your peace and your justice. Like Spirit said, I'm so sorry that you had to go through that period. It was so heavy. It was so, you know, it was a lot to go through. And Spirit understands that. And they commend you for going through it. And they're saying that they hope you understand. Or that a lot of you, they're saying they see, they know a lot of you see why, right? See why that you were put in this position. And it was a position that a lot of you felt very left out in the cold or abandoned or alone. Um, maybe you felt like you um, went through a time when you were without spirit's help and spirit saying like you were never without their help. But um, you definitely, this could have been much further in your past, right? You could have gone through a very difficult time period in the past where you felt like you had no one or you were very isolated or you were very alone and spirit is saying that part of your strength is seeing that you know the shift in perspective and shift in mindset that you're getting from this is that you were never alone right the strength card you endured through this period and spirit is saying they're so proud of you for doing that you're so so and I'm, I'm hearing blessings blessings coming to you your victory is coming to you right and your justice is coming to you and um <clears throat> your ancestors ancestors do want to say like those who wronged you are those that you know people will get their karma so it's something you don't have to worry about uh people will get their karma also, for a lot of you, you overcame something. This is, like, very spiritual. I'm really getting. Um, I'm definitely getting less, like, 3D world energy and more closer to, like, you battling something um, spiritually. 
you know, your fears, your worries, your anxieties, you really put yourself out there, you put yourself on the line, and you took that leap of faith. Definitely, because I was also seeing the full card, because um, I wasn't even going to use this deck. <clears throat> and actually, my cat was playing with something <clears throat> on the countertop, and he, like, knocked, like, a piece of paper that he was playing with off, and it reminded me of the full card in this deck. Sorry about that. Like I was saying... <clears throat> My cat actually knocked a piece of paper like that he was playing with off of something and it reminded me of the full card, like hanging off the edge in this card. So I definitely feel like you took that leap of faith, right? You believed and you took that leap of faith. And for a lot of you, Spirit is saying that you're going through like a purging energy or you have been going through a purging energy. For a lot of you, you're like close to the end of your purging period. I don't know why I'm so out of breath suddenly. Um... <laughs> Um, that you're really close to the end. Um, you might have felt that kind of lack or out of breath feeling in the past, but um, you were being put into a new perspective and you're closing out this past cycle. I feel like a lot of you have purged some kind of, you might have definitely been going through a dark night of the soul um, where you were purging away, you know, any kind of like uh, like devil energy, fear attachments, or lack um, attachments, or, um, um, you know, like negative entity attachments, or uh, negative attachment styles, you know, negative paradigms, negative, um, uh, negative thought patterns that you were, that you were dealing with, and they're saying that you've definitely... <laughs> you do it silly girl uh, that, that you have definitely purged those that you have faced those and that you're purging them from your life you know <laughs> just one second <clears throat> sorry about all the stopping and starting and started stopped right on seven minutes so there's a lot of like in the past i feel like there was a lot of imbalance there was a lot of stopping starting stopping starting for some of you definitely if you knew that you were trying to shift timelines Spirit is definitely saying, because that was like this, Spirit is definitely saying that you have stopped this kind of, because this was kind of coming up in the collective where it was kind of like you're one, <clears throat> uh, a foot in two worlds, you know, where you're kind of like in a transitional period of letting go of a cycle from your past, letting go of one timeline and hopping onto another one. And I think Spirit is saying like, you have efficiently done that. And in doing that, you've actually helped overcome or help defeat some kind of, uh, you know, entity attachment here that you had, okay? For those of you that resonate with that, right? Mm. Yeah, in the past, there was this hesitation. There was a hesitation here to, to plan or to see a future, you know, to like even be able... Oh, yes. Thank you, Spirit. So they are saying that they had to put you in the position to go through what you went through, to go through your awakening for you to even see that there was another way to be, to open your eyes, right? Spirit is saying that they had to put you in a position here where you were in this hangman position for you to even see that this new cycle, you see how, you know, when it's up, it's like planning for the future, planning and choosing a different timeline with that world in their hand, right? You had no idea that that was even there. It, <clears throat> you know, you were karmically asleep, you know, and spirit is saying that they had to, you know, they had to wake you up and that for a long time, your spirit guides and your ancestors have been manifesting this justice and the justice that your soul and that your spirit guides and your whole spirit team together, that you and your spirit team together have been manifesting for you is this, this shift in perspective, this shift into a much higher vibrational timeline where you are going to be getting, you know, the outcome that you're really looking for, but you had to decide to walk away first, right? Yeah, with this five of swords right here, I'm getting the more, uh, the occasional, more high vibrational meaning, which is like never giving up, like doing whatever it takes to, to get there. And your spirit guides are like, well, you really had to do a lot, right? And see how it's that person with people walking away from them in the background. So <sighs> I'm getting this energy of like, you defeated your enemies. Like your enemies are having to walk away. Like they're having to leave you. Like, you know, like your these karmic energies are having to leave you. These negative energy attachments, they're having to leave you. Thank you, spirit. Exactly. And these could have, 
for some of you, this could have been like negative, even kind of, oh, well, I'm, I'm starting to stop to say like negative spirit guides because we all, we all have energies that walk with us for a time that are teaching us lessons in one way or another, right? Um, not all ancestors and not all spirit guides that walk with us are in the love and light, you know? Some of them walk with us to put us through trials and tribulations. Like that's just, you know, there are balance. There's a balance to everything. There's a light, there's a dark to everything. There's a up, there's a down to everything. There's a positive, there's a negative charge to everything, right? Um, and so not only, you know, <clears throat> can you, just like you are open to having your positive love and light spirit guides, there are times in your life, un, you know, I don't want to, I hesitate to say unfortunately, because they do, it does cause a lot of, it can cause a lot of damage. It can cause a lot of, you know, psychological or physical damage in our lives and everything like that. However, right. Um, Spirit is saying that you are releasing and learning and letting go and realizing that you are very strong, right? That you have persevered and that you have overcome this, this energy right here. And because of that page of pentacles, you're about to receive like a divine gift. And I think too, with this person... It's kind of giving me like a six of pentacles, like, cause I'm always trying to figure out in this card, is it, is it the page that's normally like, cause this is the after tarot, the page of pentacles is normally holding the ace of pentacles. And I'm like, is he receiving it from this little gnome energy here? This it's kind of like personification of the spirit or the uh, supernatural world, or is he giving? And so with this one, I'm kind of giving that Nate, I'm kind of giving that give and take nature here so definitely for some of you if you definitely have like an altar or you have any kind of like offerings to give to your spirit guides definitely in meditation or in your prayer ask your spirit guides what kind of offering would they like candles would they like flowers would they like whatever whatever it is that you know your spirit guides ask you for um and you know um again like i said before do it with caution and discernment as well, okay? Um, but yeah, that's helping, you know, so give thanks back to your spirit guides for your positive love and light spirit guides for helping you to see the truth of the situation. Oh yeah, I was also seeing Archangel Michael. So some of you, yeah, Archangel Michael is really here saying that they helped break you out here, right? Your spirit guides are saying, we helped collaborate with you to break you out of these negative paradigms, to break you out of these negative mindsets, to free your mind right? That's why you went through what you went through in the past was to free your mind and to help you see the truth. And sometimes the truth is ugly that we have to look at, right? But we have to face it. That's how we get this, um, this ace of pentacles. That's how this ace of pentacles is grounded into reality, right? Um, yeah. And this tower. So it brings a big, huge tower moment here of, you know, that crown chakra, breaking up in that crown chakra and really connecting you to your higher self, to your intuition, to your spirit guides, you know, and again, temperance with that equal give and take. And again, like spirit said, whoever was being deceptive in the past have really laid their own traps, right? Again, with that, the person here is walking away with five swords and it reminds me of that five of swords where I talked about people walking away from you um, that needed to walk away from you, right? They laid their own trap. And they're so busy looking back, wondering, you know, ha, 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 got away, not even seeing that they, you know, they walked into their own trap, right? And here you are standing here, right, Ac accomplished in this three, see this three, see how this person here, they're building like the three of pentacles. Yeah. This was a soul contract between you and your spirit guides or between you and the spirit guide, even this, this dark spirit guide here. And then I didn't even see that there. There's the three of pentacles. Oh my gosh. Quit playing. Three of pentacles here with the six of cups. That's a hundred percent your spirit guides in collaboration working with you. Right? Wow. Yeah. So this judgment energy is here and judgment has been called in this magician energy, right? Has been assigned, right? You were manifesting this justice. And so it has, you know, you have manifested this judgment energy here, right? Which means you manifested the judgment energy of 
not only yourself, but your spirit guides, the people around you, your whole reality, right? And so now, Ace of Cups, lovers, uh, yes, Ace of, Cup, Ace of Cups, lovers, the Nine of Pentacles, now you are free and independent, right? You have, break, you have broken away from the codependency, and now you get to have a brand new beginning, a brand new passionate beginning. You get to have a brand new start in love, a brand new start in, in self-love, you know, seeing yourself and seeing your life and seeing seeing the way that you are truly divinely guided and divinely loved, you know? Um, it's like this energy of like, wow, I am truly blessed and I am truly loved and I am truly protected and I am truly stable and I am truly not walking alone. Because for a lot of you, you might have felt very alone, right? People in the physical might have made you feel very alone for your life and spirit is telling you you were never alone. Though you might not have known that you weren't alone because you were unawakened and you couldn't see, right? But now I feel like a lot of you see, right? A big part of my awakening is um, the beauty of seeing God, of seeing spirit working in my life. And I see it every day and it's amazing. You know, it's, it's amazing feeling and it helps really create this attitude of gratitude, right? Yeah. So you're laying to rest, whatever needed to be laid to rest, you know, cause this is in the after tarot here, you know, the person has, they have, they normally have the 10 swords in their back here. The 10 swords have been taken, and they are being laid to rest with that one sword, which is their truth, right? Which kind of reminds me of the four of swords that kind of lay, laying there with their truth. So they're showing me here, you know, it's almost kind of this energy of like, you had to go through the ten of swords so that you could see the betrayal, so that you could be pent down, so that you could know what it felt like to go through that ten of swords, to go through that dark night, and then to be buried, Right? And then to lie, they just said lie in state. You know how people say they lie in state, like in the four of pinnacle, like the not four of pinnacles, but in the four of swords, the person is like buried. And then you judgment energy here, right? Rose again. See those people, the spirits rising again, right? Being reborn anew with that death card energy, right? And now you're very quickly going towards this queen of pentacles where it's kind of almost like this being reborn and being regrounded here into a new reality this is beautiful again so oh, spirit is saying my gosh look at that spirit is saying if you ever thought you were alone you are not you are not Wow. Though you might have felt alone. They're reminding me again of the footsteps poems, right? What happened, you know, what happened when I look back and I only see one set of footsteps? Those, That's when I was carrying you, right? The Lord said, look, you know, you're walking on the beach. Look at the footsteps. See how there are two sets of footsteps? I'm always walking with you. But what about those times when there were only one set of, you know, footprints in the sand? That was when I was carrying you, right? So spirit is saying, not to say that you weren't working, you know, because you were, you were putting in that work, but spirit is letting you know, right? You are truly blessed. You are truly lucky, right? To, to have been awoken to the truth because in the past, in past lives, you have fallen, you know, for this. But this is a lesson that you have. Oh, wait. They want me to pull three more afterwards. This is a lesson that you have truly learned here, right? One, two. Woo! And what a, what a pull that is, too. Four of Wands. Nine of Cups. Ten of Cups. Get out of here. Safety, stability, emotional fulfillment, and happiness. And... You know, wish fulfillment, true wish fulfillment. Like I said, right? Stability, understanding, happiness, camaraderie here. I feel like a lot of you see those people all in the background celebrating. And look, they all have the laurel crowns on, right? They all have that laurel crown of victory. I really feel like, ooh, we, what is being left behind when I picked up? 
Always pay attention to if a card gets left behind when I pick up a deck. What is getting left behind? Queen of Wands in reverse, right? This, you are detaching yourself from your karmic energy of the past. Yeah, these negative attachments, right? And you are, again, Eight of Cups walking away from them. Wow. Wow. That's beautiful. The Spirit's telling me to look at this, this Ten of Cups deeper. Here on the Two of Cups card, there's always this white cat that's at the bottom here. And Spirit is drawing me to look at this white cat again. So in this deck, the Two of Cups has that white cat at the bottom. And so it's reminding me of you finding your Two of Cups and then thus finding your Ten of Cups, finding your happiness, finding your your family. Look at those people together underneath the stars, you know, roasting, doing a little rainy roast or something, you know what I'm saying? Like sitting outside around the fire pit, grilling and having a good time, good life, chilling, you know? For some of you, you um, you might end up, because I'm just paying attention to the to the age difference here. You might end up marrying a much older part, not much much older partner, but an a partner that's older than you, a partner that's more stable or st or uh, stable than you. For some of you, if this is something that you want, you might end up having three children. You might even end up having twins or maybe even four children because I don't know. Something about this lady kind of looks like she could be pregnant with another one. I mean, it could just be her dress, but I said I'm just kind of like psychically kind of getting off of this. So it's like setting up a whole family here. What a beautiful little scene, right? Because in the original, the regular Ten of Cups, right, it's just the, the couple is younger and it's them earlier on you know and they just have the two kids and they have the young boy and the young girl and then now here they are a little bit older you know and they're here doing this whole night thing being you know warmed by the fire here and the couple's a little bit older and now they've had another child maybe even with one on the way here so definitely some of you have really Definitely timeline hype hopped into like your highest, highest dimension, your highest timeline, right? And there's something here too about the difference of the fact that this, that this had like a black cat, which I'm not like superstitious about black cats or anything like that, but this one had a black cat here and then this one has a white cat. So there's something about shifting or like shifting away from like a shadow energy here. I'm going to keep that one out. Yes. Hmm. Okay. Love that for you, right? And especially with that, you know, like, yeah, I just keep on seeing this. Look how happy those two look. You know, because normally in the in the strength card, it's like the angels like forcing you know the, the lion's mouth open or closed or however you however you view it, whatever the situation really calls for, right? It kind of changes around the perspective. But now it's kind of like you know you and spirit here are working in harmony, and there's not like this like force like you've got to see, you've got to see, you've got to open your eyes, you got to open your mouth, you gotta you gotta figure this out. You have to put, and it's more of this energy here of like. Now the purge has happened and now it's kind of like, oh, I'm so thankful, you know, I'm so blessed. I'm so thankful. I'm so held. I'm so secured, you know, like, and here you are, right? And these, and this new possibility here. This is beautiful. I'm very happy for you guys. This is beautiful. There's that Six of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, and the Knight of Cups. <sighs> the 
spirit is saying that while you're while you're out here, be very aware. Cause spirit, cause spirit is saying there are gonna be energies here in this next new cycle who are gonna see the universe giving to you, okay? And they might come to you with their hand out. They might, you know, see. I don't know. It's kind of almost like here, this person here is here giving out, you know, to these people. And look, this night is like, huh? You giving away money? Like, huh? What you doing? Yeah, because it's almost like they're they're back over here doing this, and it's like this knight is over here, like, walking up, and they're over there just taking a little drink from the stream, and they're like, what, what's going on over here? Right, look at his face. It's like, huh? What you doing over there? The spirit's saying you're going to have to use discernment because I feel like you're going to have so much of this victorious energy just, like, oozing all around you. You're going to have options. So be careful who you work with planting planting and collaborating with the future okay because like i said you're gonna have options all over here fighting for you okay look at all those people be like no she's not no he's mine no they're mine no they're mine me 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 everyone wants to throw it throw their wand in throw their two cents in throw their possibilities in right that energy is kind of going to be all about and it might kind of be a little bit overwhelming but spirit is saying you know you're gonna have to be aware of you know, because you are here, because your collaboration, this project, see here in the Three of Pentacles, in the normal, in the regular, regular tarot, in the Three of Pentacles, they're here still collaborating and working together to create this. And here they are standing here, you know, with it already all together, with it finally made, you know, here. And then look, of course, the person is here harvesting. And here they are again. They finally, they've been waiting. You know, normally their head is here waiting on this plow, waiting or waiting on this hoe, waiting for, you know, waiting for the fruit to grow, right? Waiting for the pentacles to be ready to harvest. And here you are in your stage of harvest. And, you know, you're here, you're kind of here like, wow, I did it. You got your jacket thrown over your shoulder, like given one last look, one last look around. So... You know how people do that that trope in like movies or TV shows when they're like moving out of place, out of a place, and they're sitting there and they stop and they turn around one last time and look at like their like empty house or their empty apartment. So some of you could be moving, um, but also this is reminding me of, you know, you're just moving and timelines, hopping timelines, moving, leaving and closing down an old cycle, like an old house, moving out of an old house and moving on to something else. And it's like spirit was saying that you were in that one last like look and then you turn the lights off and then you close the door, you know, and then the cycle ends or the episode ends, you know, um, and it's fade to black. They're showing me fade to black. So yeah, they're showing me that kind of trope and that where they do that one last like, hmm, like look back and then they just go. Right. And then they go and they close the door. And I feel like that's what you're doing right here. You, you, you did that one last like really look back like, damn. And Spirit's also telling you, right, admire your work. Admire how hard you've come. Admire how much work and collaboration has gone in here. So attitude of gratitude to how much work is gone to create and build and sculpt all of this and admire this harvest that you were about to have. Right. Excuse me. You guys, the weather here where I live cannot decide what it's doing. Excuse me. It rained for like a week straight, for like almost two weeks straight every day. And then I'm not complaining, but I'm just saying um, it rained for two weeks straight. Then it, and it was like hot and cold or like cool and like cold in between. And then it jumped up for the past couple of days to like in the 60s and the 70s. And then by this weekend, in a couple of days from now, by the end of this week, it's going to be back down in the 40s. So all this back and forth, the back and forth is really, it's got my sign. That's why I was explaining why I'm like coughing and doing all of this. So I apologize. But yeah, Ten of Pentacles. I don't know, maybe that's significant for somebody. There's this back and forth and back and forth and back and forth energy, right? It's like decide what you're doing, decide where you're going. Like, like are we are we leaving and going through winter? Are we going into spring? What are we doing? <laughs> you know, like, what are we doing? I just need to know, like, can I put up my sweaters or do I need to keep them out? Like, what's going on? So you might have really felt like that, but Spirit is saying that they're leading you towards your Ten of Pentacles, okay? And it might start with one pinnacle, right? But period, you're going towards your victory, boo. 
okay? And Spirit is saying, too, you're also about to start to collaborate or you're about to start, they remind me of that Four of uh, Wands card here, where it's like everybody has that laurel crown, everybody has that crown of victory on them, right? So definite big, like, going towards soul family. Yes. Yes. Going towards that happiness. Okay. And I really feel like... <laughs> so I just heard that that line from, from J. Cole. What? Old flames uh, crying because they lost out. Yeah. That's what I got here with this Page of Cups. You know, Page of Cups normally has a little fish. And in this one, the fish has done jump ship. And the, and the page is like, oh, all I had was one fish in, my, in this lousy cup. And I don't even got that anymore. Look. Because the person's like, what? So there are going to be a lot of people from your past that Spirit is teaching here. Okay. There are. They're teaching here. A lot of people from your past like to take advantage of the fact that you weren't awakened yet or that you didn't see yet or that you didn't know yet. I'm hearing gaslighting. But, however, Spirit is saying, right? Here you are with the justice, receiving your justice. Everyone gets fair justice. Everyone gets equal justice, right? That's what this means in the justice card, right? Because they have the, the rich, the rich man, the rich king, and the beggar, you know, and the blind beggar on one side. But everybody receives equal justice here. They're both on their knees receiving equal justice and it's also reminding me of the six of pentacles where it's like where it's like you know those uh what is the saying the the last will become first and then the first will become last that's kind of the energy it's giving here with me so people that had power or had some kind of you know use their power against you in the past are, you're swiftly going to see as you shift timelines, as you jump timelines, you're sh sh swiftly going to see this shift, right? You're swiftly going to see that with this different perspective, you see that people that you perceive to have power, that you that you perceive to have some kind of control over you, do not have control over you anymore, right? Or thought patterns or process, you know, things, um, habits or addictions or codependencies that you were struggling to break in the past suddenly will seem very easy to overcome. Suddenly will seem just not to naturally fall away from you, right? Yeah, and I heard that. Um, oh, what what is the name of that song? Is it falling away? It's a it's that corn song, beating me down. Beating me, beating me down, down into the ground, feeling so sound. Beating me, beating me down, down into the ground. Yeah, so it's this kind of, yeah, it's that beating me down, That fa it's falling away from me. It's falling away from me. This feeling of being beat down into the ground is falling away from me. Okay, corn, come through with the freedom. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. And I see that King of Pentacles back there playing around, right? And this is like a gift here, right? This is a gift for you overcoming and battling these, these, you know, these demons, right? Getting this assistance and freeing your mind. Free your mind. The rest will follow, right? Free your mind and the rest will follow. 100%. Oh, before I started this reading, there was a song that was in my head. Oh, yes. Thank you, Spirit. It's that. Owner of a lonely heart. Do -do 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 -do. Owner of a broken heart. Yeah. So Spirit is saying, like, if you felt that Three of Swords energy in the past, like, you know, you're going to. Exactly. This is going to be laid to rest. Finding this truth, finding this this new perspective about one what you went through in the past and why you had to go through, why you had to go through it, why you were going through it, you know, it's just this. It's and that's gonna look different for all of you, right? So you know, let the energy and let the details resonate as they do for you, right? But there is this energy here of, yeah, 
there are going to be people from your past that feel that feel left out, that feel lonely. They're going to try to jump. Not all of you know, a bunch of them are not going to be able to jump here. Also, I don't know. I'm just looking at this Eve on this car right here, and she looking thick in a good way. You know what I'm saying? Like something here. I don't know. I don't man, It's reminding me of like she has so many. She has so much like hips. And so it's reminding me of this very, like, fertile energy, you know, how, like, in ancient cultures, like, usually, like, fertility goddesses would really have, like, big giant, you know, big giant chest and, like, big giant hips, you know, or big giant bellies to represent them being able to support, you know, support and, and have life, you know? So I don't know. It's reminding me of that. You're very fertile right now. So be aware, right? Be aware of that. And, yeah, so Spirit is saying exactly, ooh, Spirit is saying um, let go of this, of this, <laughs> okay, yo, every time I peep this, I'm like, what, <laughs> look at that person, it's like, drowning in the background, is that, this person is like, I, I don't know, they're like, lose, you know, losing control or something, I don't know, I don't know if I can say that word on YouTube, but I just did, but anyway, um, you know, Spirit is saying, like, for a lot of you, you're going to have to turn away from these people. And that for some of you, oh, and I hate to give advice like that. Like, oh, turn them. It's not like turning a blind eye. But Spirit is saying that for a lot of you, you know, you're going to see. You're going to see these people. And, and for some of these people, right, these are going to be friends. These are going to be family. Or they're going to be old friends or old family or things like that, you know. But be aware, you know. Not everybody can come with you. And the fact of the matter is, Spirit said that when things were down and out, those people didn't want to come with you, right? That's why they, that's why you had those breakups. That's why you had those fights. That's why you and that ex broke up. That's why you and your family have had all these issues that you're working through and purging. And as you're working through and purging and the favor is clearly being shown to you, you are going to have people from your past. You are going to have exes from your past, old flames that felt like they lost out, right? You are going to have these people coming back towards you like, oh, I'm drowning. Can you help me now? And for a lot of you, you're going, to, you know, I'm just reading what's on the cards, right? You're going to be walking away from that offer, right? You're going to be walking away from that energy and going to a cups towards new reunions and new energy. See, see the white cat I was talking about there? right, and go, going towards new unions with new people, and that's just the name of the game, it's not like, it's not because you're doing it out of pettiness, or it's not because you're doing it out of spite, make sure that you're not, right, Spirit is saying, don't give in to any kind of pettiness or revenge or anything like that, bless them, tell them, I hope, I hope that you're okay, but, you know, remember, you didn't want to come with me, you didn't want to stand beside me, you didn't want to support me, you didn't want to do that, and, you know, it's, you're good, you can make it through it. I made it through it, so I know that you can make it through it, too. You'll make it through it, right? So Spirit is telling you that there are going to be some people who you're going to be able to tell. They're going through it, okay? Be mindful of the fact that don't bring these people into the fold with you, okay? Because, yeah, now, now they're showing me, like, that person that was, like, that's, like, walking out, you know, of the apartment right before they turn off the light. And it's like they hear like a help, help, hello, hello. I'm, I'm, I'm still back here. I'm still back here. And you're like, what? As you're turning around, like, huh? Don't turn around and go back, and, and go back. And like, I don't know why I'm seeing this, but it's like a person like, like help. I'm locked in the closet. Like help, help, help. Come back, come back. Turn back around. Don't leave. Help, 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 help. That kind of energy where it's like, don't leave. You've locked me in here. You've left me in here. Like wait, don't leave. And you're like. Nah, you know, because you have a very kind and open heart. And like I said, I'm not saying, but yeah, Spirit is saying that these people are at a distance from you for a reason. So use your discernment, okay? Because you're going on this journey here. This this person has decided to, you know, again, look, there's you walking away, leaving people behind in the background. You're going on a journey and not everybody can come with you. But Spirit is saying you are going on this journey. Fast forward, I get like I said. And there are people from your past or even people in your present that might be incoming new people, right? But remember, like I said, there's going to be plenty of people that want to come along on this journey with you. You're going to have plenty of options, plenty of choices, people that are going to be like, marry me, be with me, be my friend, collaborate with me, do this, partner up your energy with me, right? 
but they're gonna be a lot of new incoming energies right because spirit said they created right i've been saying that on the channel for a while too four zero uh four zero zero four down on the clock um, Spirit has been saying that they were creating space, right? These friends, these families, these jobs, these homes, these things walked out and left your life to create space for new energy to come in. And this, there is going to be people fighting to come into your space. There is going to be people fighting to, you know, to have a place here with you. What did I say? Right? I said, because you're fertile. You're the empress. You're here growing. And there's a lot of people out there that can see that energy. And they want to be involved in it. They want a taste of it. They want a piece of it. Okay? So be aware. Right? Be aware of who you collaborate with and who you're going towards in this new cycle. Who you're sharing this new cycle with. Be aware. Right? Judgment energy. Listen. Right? Listen to, what, listen to your spirit guidance. Listen to the way people move. Not what they say. Right? Don't fall for the same tricks or the same traps that you used to. Don't fall in line with the people that used to act, right? Don't remove people from your life just to let people to act just like people or exes from your past right back in your life, right? Keep, make sure that this is a lesson that you are going to learn, right? Yeah. Because again, Knight of Swords, right? There'll be a lot of people coming in. But, but Archangel Michael is also here saying that they are here going to work battling for you okay right because again now that you've turned that queen of wands energy upside down here you're very attractive right you're you have that wand here yes so they're showing me like um if you guys watch house of the dragon or if you've just seen anywhere it's like the eligible person right like when when Monero was going around doing her little tour and like everybody was like lining up to be like I want to be your husband I want to be your husband I want to be your partner I want to collaborate with you you know and they all know there's only that one spot to stand beside you in this new world that you're creating here right or the one partner spot to stand beside you right but they all want to stand beside you They're, a lot of people are going to want to stand beside you but be aware of what energy these people are in when you are here right because you are creating this nice little nest egg here for yourself you and spirit are saying you are heavily fertile right now again with that rabbit down there right so be aware what energies you are collaborating with what energies you are creating in okay because you are very attractive you're attracting in a lot of energy right now so be aware of the energy be aware right yeah because you just created a spot right don't open that spot right back up to another entity attachment or another you know some other bs right be aware of who you're collaborating with be ultra aware of who you're dating who you're becoming physically intimate with who you're spending your time with who you're collaborating with be aware of the energy that they're in and listen to your spirit guidance okay this is all going to happen in divine time okay hello hello okay be aware of who you're collaborating with all right who you're giving that spot to because they're going to be very options and spirit because spirit is saying contrary to, to popular belief there will be a lot of emperors coming towards you right there's going to be a lot of emperors coming towards you. That doesn't mean all of them are meant to you, for, for you to collaborate with. Or if you're the emperor, there are going to be a lot of empresses coming towards you. That doesn't mean that every single one of them is for you to collaborate with. Right? There's a lot of people that can step up and try to be an emperor and empress energy. Right? There's a lot of people out there in the world. There's billions of people out there in the world. Right? So there's a lot of people that can work on themselves and step up, but it's your discernment to know which one is for you to collaborate with, right? You've are, you've learned this lesson. You've done this before. This is the next stage of your journey, right? So exactly. Be aware. Check out those swords. Look at them. Be like, mm, is this the right one? Is this my truth? Is that my truth? You know? And see how these people are just getting further and further away in the background again. Right? The competition. There's a lot of people that'll do a lot. That'll be doing the most. 
you know, to throw in their sword. Make sure that you are walking away from any chaos or conflict or drama. You know, because Spirit is saying you, you made it over here to the island. So be aware of who you let on the island, okay? I'm also hearing that saying no man is an island, right? Like we all collaborate. We don't do this alone. So don't, don't think that Spirit is telling that you have to do this alone. Or that you won't have people. That you won't have people that you are meant friends and, and found family and, you know, all kind of stuff that you will have around you, right? Just be aware. We've been talking about that a lot, you know? Be aware of the people that you choose to collaborate with. It is your choice. Have that empowerment. Take your power back and, 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 and get your power of choice back, right? Because I really feel like that's what's made you juggle in the past. Discernment is going to be very important. Again, right? Who you decide to give that crown to? Who do you who you decide to take this victory, right? Because that's what this person is doing. They have their crown on and they're taking this crown and they're going, they're looking through the crowd. They're like, who else? Who they're they're walking here from this higher perspective, right? From this higher perspective. And there's gonna be, you know, there's gonna be emperors and there's gonna be karmics and there's gonna be a bunch of different randos out there that's all, I got a wand, I got a wand, I got a wand, I got a wand, put the laurel crown on my wand, put the laurel crown on my wand, me, 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 right? Be discerning about who you decide to give that crown to, right? Who you do, who you do side, who you do side, uh, okay, <sighs> who you decide to collaborate with in this new beginning, in this new world, Right? Because Spirit said you've worked really hard to get to the place where you have the sight here, right? So use use the you know the tools of discernment, the tools of power, you know the tools that Spirit has given you during this cycle, during you going through all of this. It's so that you can have, right? So that you can receive your justice, and your justice is the knowledge, right? Is the empowerment, is the spiritual gifts is the understanding that you have developed walking in this past heart cycle, right? In this past karmic cycle, in this dark night of the soul, whatever name you want to give it, right? Know that you have always been walking through that to find your power, right? To realize that you're not alone and to realize that you're way more powerful than you ever gave yourself credit for or that other people ever gave you credit for. Be aware, okay? 944 down on the clock. Be aware because spirit is protecting you from those who uh, whose wish fulfillment maybe perhaps, you know, interferes with your highest good. Yeah, but spirit is saying, you know, have a kind and open and understanding heart. You have you have a very kind and open understanding heart, but you have that, that cut there. So be aware of who you're giving it out to. Be aware. And this is not even just about love, you guys. I mean, this is also about just who you give your energy to, right? Who you give your energy to in the comment section. Who you who you decide to collaborate and work with. What clients you decide to collaborate and work with. What friends you allow to be around you. What family members you spend time with, right? Be aware of what all of this means for you. Right? Because you're going to have a lot of eyes on you. All right? You're going to have a lot of eyes on you. So, yeah. Spirit is not necessarily like put your head down, but like just keep working, keep doing your thing, keep, keep going down the path that you're going down, you know? Keep working on that, that business or that whatever it is that, yeah, because it's going to be. How many times? How many times? What? Oh. Lord have mercy. Okay. How many times? I'll finish my first thought. How many times can the Queen of Pentacles show itself? Okay. You are grinding yourself into this brand new beautiful reality. But like Spirit said, there will be. You remember. You remember. 
as this is the universe was given out to you in that six of that six of pentacles there was that knight of cups like huh what you doing over there huh be aware okay they just keep saying that line from the j cole old flames crying because they lost out i'm just be aware i feel like a lot of you know this a lot of you know a lot of you are going to be like why would i ever the past no thank you why would i ever you know i know who these people are don't forget, right? Don't forget. The devil can wear many faces. That doesn't make these people evil. For some of y'all, maybe they are. You're like, nah, nah, that narcissistic ex was evil. You know? And it is what it is. You know, people can have very strong entity attachments. Be aware of that, right? Uh, but again, be aware of that. Be aware of that because... Who you decide to collaborate with, who you decide to share that cup with, their attachments become your attachments, right? Y'all have energy exchanges. So make sure that you're collaborating with people that have the right type of attachments and aren't bringing you right back the shit that you literally just overcame, right? You literally just overcame these kind of attachments right here. Don't go collaborating and hanging out with people, spending time with people that want you to get right back attached again, right? be aware because like i said for some of you 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 might decide just to stay single for a little bit okay just to go solo dolo for a little bit because some of you are like look i'm really enjoying being single i'm really i really just got rid of all these karmic attachments from all my exes you know how many cleansing baths i had to take to cleanse off the entity attachments from my exes like you know how hard i've been working trying to do that okay so spirit is telling you here that you are free right that you are free that nothing is holding you back that you can walk forward with the knowledge that you are safe and protected in this new cycle but don't spend too much time lingering and looking back in that apartment before you leave go ahead and close the door lock it turn the lights off right and leave yeah and make sure <laughs> yes but i said and make sure your name's off the, make sure your name's not on the power bill anymore you know like that kind of energy like yeah yeah Make sure the same cards. Make sure you have discernment, okay? Because spirit's gonna let you know. Cause you, cause you getting these blessings. You're gonna have lots of offers, lots of blessings. Exactly. You're gonna have lots of all different types of offers and blessings here. Spirits reminded me of the short of one of the shorts that I just did that uh, was uh, talking about how a karmic, like a karmic, could be wanting to come back towards you and like tempt you. Yeah, save that. Stay, <laughs> save that. Uh, go ahead and no, thank you. That <laughs> say no, no. I'm single and abundant. I'm good. Thank you. All right, and that's gonna look different for all of you, but. There you go. Thank you guys so very much for being here with me today. As always, I hope this brought the love, light, and clarity into your life that you were looking for, my loves, okay? Thank you so much for being here with me, and I will see you in the next one, okay? Um, if you liked it, like it, okay? If you uh, want to reach out and, um, I don't know why I said collab with me, but yeah, collab with me, or um, if you want to um, work with me to get a personal reading, my contact information is in the description box down below. Check out the links, okay? Uh, let me know if this resonated for you in the comment section down below, if you don't mind. And if you dug the vibe, subscribe and join the tribe, okay? Thank you guys so very much again. Thank you to your spirit guides for leading you here. Thank you to my spirit guides for helping me to uh, do this act of deviation and protect me while I'm doing so. All right? Thank you guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!